they recognize that Trump is such a liability, especially when we saw what happened today in the court, where basically Tisha James is saying not only make sure that he has to pay a $370 billion fine, but at the same, three, I'm sorry, $370 million fine, but at the same time, make sure that he can no longer conduct business as a Trump affiliate in his offices ever again in New York City. And that's huge. And the Republican Congress, they understand that. And that's why this whole thing is a complete ruse against Hunter Biden. It's embarrassing, David, because, you, you know, first of all, they're saying this guy's in contempt of Congress because he wouldn't come and go before a behind closed doors meeting with us because he wants to testify in public, which you'd think they'd want if they had anything on the president. That's number one. And number two, as Eric Swalwell pointed out, they've got members who refused subpoenas. You know, with 600 some odd days later, Jim Jordan is still in defiance of a congressional subpoena. How can you say we want our subpoenas to be, uh, you know, you, we want you to comply with our subpoenas when we ourselves don't comply with subpoenas? Because it's re it's the Republicans. Hypocrisy <laughs> is their currency. Um, so look, I, I think what we're seeing in the Hunter Biden, uh, you know, strategy, if you will, is he is clearly subscribing to the notion that if you can't win the process, win the story. And so he's not going to win the process. Republicans have the votes, but he can win the story, which is exactly what we're talking about. This is someone who's trying to comply. I think we're also seeing a legal strategy. You know, one of the things that that Abby Lowell said is. They sent five different letters to the committee saying, we will do it this way, or how about this way, and they got no response. Congress is going to hold Hunter Biden in contempt and make a criminal referral to the Department of Justice. DOJ doesn't really want to take criminal referrals for contempt of Congress, but they especially don't want to take this one, where we have now publicly seen Hunter Biden try to comply. This is a legal defense, but it also is a, a political and public defense saying, I might lose the process, but I'm going to win this story. Right. And I mean,